Richard Green in The Adventures of Robin Hood. Presented by Band-Aid Plastic Strips with Super Stick and Johnson & Johnson First Aid Cream, the new antiseptic that won't sting. Here's proof. Once a boy to Sherwood came to live beneath the greenwood tree, hoping he could hide his fame as Duke of Brittany. Saving my dog. That's a very brave thing you just did. I couldn't let him sink. Who are you, lad? By what right do you question me? You're nothing but a yeoman by the looks of you. <laughs> Listen to the lad. What are you doing alone in the forest? What about you? You tell me what you're doing first. We are hunting. The king's deer? No, this morning we're after the king's foxes. What about you? I'm looking for the outlaws. Robin Hood. What for? That's what I'm going to be, an outlaw. Are you? My name is Edmund. I'm a page at Walden Castle. At least I was until I ran away. Why did you run away? The squires and noblemen, they were miserable to me. They took turns at beating me. Oh, how frightful. You look quite sturdy, though, after such cruel treatment. Tell me, what makes you so sure that Robin Hood will let you join his band? He's got to. It's the only place I can go. I'll pay to become an outlaw. Look, I have money. Why do you want to be an outlaw? I want to be surrounded by noble knights who swear death to tyranny. And I don't want to grow up in dull old castles. Well, those are different reasons than the recruits usually give. I can show you the way to the outlaw's camp. It's a long way from here, and uh, you don't look up to it right now. I'm not tired, really. I'm just a little sleepy. I've been in the forest two nights, but I can get there. Perhaps I ought to carry you. Do you think I'm a baby? I can, I can walk. I don't care how far it is. He's no page, that's certain. He acts more like the lord of the manor. It won't be easy to learn the truth from him. He seems terrified of being sent home. Wait, Robin. Look. Griffin Rampant. I should be able to find out what family seal this is. If only I knew where there was a copy of the Paris Manual of Heraldry. Ask our scholarly friend, Friar Tuck. He knows the contents of all the nearby libraries. I'll find him out first thing in the morning. If you learn who he is, try to fetch his parents. I'll let you know as soon as I discover anything. Be a good nursemaid.
You'll be all week making a dozen arrows at that rate. You can't hurry it. You can't hurry the shaft without risking the bowman's life. But if you all work all day, every day, when is the time for adventure? Life is nine-tenths work, my boy, and a little play when you can get it. Same in the Greenwood as it is on the Lord's Manor, or in Nottingham Town. How did you sleep last night? Was it comfortable on the ground? No, it was bumpy. You keep hurting different places and it wakes you up. You ought to try it in January. There aren't many gentlemen could live out the winter here in Sherwood. I don't believe that. Norman Knights can stand anything. You consider yourself a good example of Norman prowess, don't you? As good as anyone who's 11 years old. Do you think you could match a Saxon peasant boy about the same age and size as yourself in a feat of strength and endurance? Of course. Where is he? What's the test? Come with me. Bertram has a nephew about as big as you. Where is he? I haven't seen him. He was with us here about two months ago when the village had the plague. Once he chops us a whole day's supply of small wood for the cooking fires. A wood chopper? You expect me to cross swords with a wood chopper? No, I expect you to try to out chop him. You said a feat of strength and endurance. Aye, and so I did. And this takes both. But I thought you said a feat of arms. Why waste your energy when you can be using it in a task that's got to be done anyway? But perhaps we shouldn't expect you to match your strength against that of a stout peasant lad. Match it? I'll do the same work in half the time. <laughs> You'll cut your foot off unless I show you how to use an axe. Look at this. That's the way to do it. Shoot! Message for Robin Hood! Alfred from the Blue Ball with a message for you. Go ahead. Well, what brings you to our wilderness? There's a, a traveler at the inn who wants to talk to you. A gentleman in fine clothes. From London, I think. And you came all this distance to tell me. Just out of the kindness of your old heart. That's right, my kind heart. And uh, a silver mark he gave me to bring the message to you. A whole silver mark, eh? You must be very anxious to see me. Lord Torrance. I'll come straight to the point and ask you a direct question. Have you seen or heard of a runaway boy in the forest? I'll be direct too, my lord. Why do you ask such a question? Well, this particular boy had romantic ideas about an outlaw life. He, uh, he often talked about joining your company. What did he run away from? Walden Castle. He was, uh, well, the fact is, he was in custody there, a political prisoner under the care of Count de Walden. That sounds like a scheme of Prince John's. It was. And who was the boy? This is an extremely delicate matter. I'm not sure that I can divulge... Then neither can I. You sent for me, my lord. The least you can do is to be frank with me. It is King Richard's heir and nephew, Arthur, Duke of Brittany. The lad who stands between Prince John and the throne. No wonder he was a prisoner. Yes, he will suffer worse than imprisonment now if they find him. Prince John was so frightened at the news of his escape, he has ordered him killed. Where do you stand in all this, my lord? I hesitate to say that there are so many informers and spies and counter-spies nowadays. I... Tell me, have you seen this boy? My question first. Which side do you represent, the hare or the hounds? I represent the boy's mother, the Dowager Duchess Constance. And what does the Duchess propose to do if you find the boy? Take him to Brittany. He'll be safe there. 
I have heard the Breton people like him, and so they should. He's a fine lad. Then you have seen him. Is he in your company? If he were, what would I have to do to get him to Breton soil? If you bring him here, to this room, tomorrow evening, Her Grace will be awaiting him. And you will make yourself some very valuable friends. And some interesting enemies. I welcome both. Ah, here we are. The Griffin Rampant. That's it. It's the same as the crest on his ring. Well, that means that the, the lad's mother is the Duchess Constance. Do you think you can persuade her to come and see Robin? I think so. She's at the palace in Stoke. All right. I'll tell Robin. And your unenviable task will be to tell the Duchess that her son has joined the outlaws. <laughs> Boy, that's a good day's supply, isn't it? I didn't expect you to finish it so soon. How long did the peasant boy take? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we didn't keep track. <laughs> Why, you! I thought I was being tested against him. Ah, uh, you were being tested, but not against anybody. Here, see if this bow is the right size for you. For me? Who made it? Well, I made the bow, and Bertram made the arrows. If you're going to be an outlaw, you've got to have weapons. And you'd better wear the same clothes as the rest of us. The green makes it easier to hide in the forest. Are they really mine? Can I put them on now? Then I can try the bow. You'd better go down to the brook and bathe yourself first, before you put this clean finery on. Are you suggesting that I'm too dirty for these clothes? Of course you're dirty. You ought to look at yourself. Come with me and I'll help you to bathe. I don't want to bathe. What's the point of living in the forest if you have to take baths? That's what they make you do in the castles. Stop arguing. Come with me. I don't want to bed. Come in. Get off. Uh, come on, Jimmy. Come in. Let me go. Get off. Leave me alone. I won't take that box. Get off. Leave me alone. I'll wager you don't know the penalty for what you're doing right now. Penalty? It's the law of the land. The offender is to be tied up in a large leather sack, along with a, a fighting cock, an asp, uh, that's a poisonous snake from Egypt, and a bear. What? Then the sack is to be cast from a high cliff into the sea. But what have I done? What's all this for? For laying a violent hand on the person of the heir apparent to the throne of England. May I introduce you to Prince Arthur, Duke of Brittany, Count of Poitiers. What? Him? You know, I can't help wondering just exactly what happens inside that sack. Robin, that boy. Yes, there he is. Washing dishes? Do you know who he is? Sure. He's the Duke of Brittany. Why? Why? After I've walked all... I've had half a dozen men searching for you and Mary, and where have you been? We spent most of the day discovering the identity of your young friend. Oh, I found that out last night from a representative of the Duchess. Where's Marion? Riding to Stoke to fetch the Duchess. Oh, this is a pretty mix-up. Your orders were to find out who the boy is and to fetch his parents. Oh, I know it couldn't be helped. But the Duchess is meeting us tonight at the Blue Boar Inn. Marion's gone on a wild goose chase. Ready, little John. It's time to go, Your Grace. Hello, 
show. Oh, hello, Robin. It's not fair to surprise a girl like that. Not when she's untidy from tending the fire. Oh, you're lovely, as always. <laughs> Do you know those people out there? The foresters have all gone. And the others are all right. What about the guest upstairs? The one called Torrance? Uh -huh. He left this morning. But he said he'd be back. Is my son safe? Yes, Your Grace. I wish to express to you my deepest gratitude. Thank you, Your Grace. Where is Arthur? Close by. I shall wait for him upstairs. Please see to it that Robin Hood is rewarded with a purse. Your Grace, I and my men have been known to collect a purse from time to time. But we don't take a penny from the friends of King Richard, and most particularly, we do not hold children for ransom. I meant no offense. I simply wish to indicate how grateful I am to you. Your word will more than serve for that. And knowing your son has been ample reward. He would have made a good outlaw. I think that'll please him more than all his titles. I'll show the Duchess to her room. Yes? Do you want me to keep my mouth shut about this? I most certainly do. I have a price. What's that? Greet me the way you greeted that lady when she came in here. I should be charmed, Your Grace. Your mother's here, Arthur. She's upstairs. How long since you've seen her? It must have been about a year. You must be excited. Yes, but thanks for the bow, little John. And the outlaw suit. It's, it's hard to be brave about leaving friends when you know you'll probably never see them again. There's always a chance our paths may cross. Your Grace, where is Arthur? Just one moment. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but we haven't time for the courtesies. Marion, are you sure this is the Duchess Constance? Robin, how can you say such a thing? I have to be sure. Where did you meet this lady? Well, I went to the Bishop's Palace at Stoke, where the Duchess was visiting. Surely there can't be any mistake. Then I've handed young Arthur over to the hirelings of Prince John. Please explain. How, how could this have happened? What's happened isn't easy to face. Prince John's spies have made a fool of me. They brought in a woman who, who represented herself as you. And you gave Arthur to, to this woman? Less than an hour ago. It's time enough for them to have killed him. They wouldn't dare kill the heir to the throne in a, in a public inn or on the open road. No, they'll take him to Walden Castle where they can't be seen or heard. 
From the Blue Boar Inn, they'd go by the Ribbon Oak Road to the crossroads. And then take the highway towards the castle. If I cut across the fens, I might just be in time. Across the fens? I'm not sure you'll make it. Never no, mind. See what stuff this fellow's made of. Well, you've shown you've been brave with small boys, my lord. Now let's see what you can do with somebody more your own size. No, don't kill me. I beg of you. I'm not going to kill you. You're going to deliver a message to your prince. Look out, Robin! Oh! I see I must relieve you of temptation. Tell Prince John that the murder of a young boy does not improve his claim to England's throne, and that while I can still use a sword, this boy shall live. Now be off. Saved my life, Your Grace. I shall never forget it. Your mother's at our camp in Sherwood. Your real mother. Can you make it? Do you think I'm a baby? Of course I can make it. Right 
riding through the glen. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his band of men. Feared by the bad, loved by the good. Robin Hood, Robin Hood. 